Hey everybody, so I am here to do kind of a week update and I've tried to record this three times now and one of two things has happened. Either I've been um, interrupted, as you can hear my kids are out here, which is fine, I don't mind being interrupted, but it, I've been interrupted to the point where it was like five minutes of me talking to the girl, <laughs> or they've run through the background, which I can't have yet, so it's been interesting. So I'm going to try and get through this. I'm going to try not to make it too long. Uh, my last, you got to know throwing things at each other, please. Be careful. I swear, they're like mini sumo wrestlers. Okay, anyway, um, I got my weight loss Wednesday done last week, but after that, it just got kind of crazy around here. Bop, bop. I'm okay if you want to sing, but remember right now, if you want to sing, you got to go in the playroom, okay? Okay. Remember to go in front of me. Go in front, go in front, go in front. There you go. Good job. Veggie, you too. If you want to go around, you've got to go that way. Just for a few minutes, okay? okay. <laughs> Maybe they'll be distracted for a few minutes. <laughs> um, I got my weight loss Wednesday last week done. I didn't get Foster Friday done. After that, I didn't get any videos done because... Okay, did you bump into each other? Well, you gotta be careful. Little love. You gonna go read each other a book? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um. Basically, this was the last week of my job, so I am now officially a stay-at-home mom as of Wednesday evening, um, which has been awesome. I'm only on day two, but I'm already loving it. Uh, it's something that we have always worked towards. I have always wanted to stay home with my kids, and it's not necessarily a, I've always had this vision that the mom stays home with the kids, or that's not necessarily how my husband has seen it. I just love kids. Kids have always been my life, and I have always been working with other people's kids. So I knew that once we had our own children, it would be something that I wanted to do to stay home or to have a job that I could bring them with me and be a big part of their daily life. Because, for one, being a nanny, I wouldn't make enough as a nanny to, without bringing my kids, to send them anywhere else. Even around here, which you make a good deal as a nanny, it's like, by the time I took out childcare expenses, my job would not make us enough to make a difference. Or enough of a difference that it was worth it. So unless I was in a job that paid me enough that I could bring my kids basically either for free or as part of my job or whatever, it just wouldn't work out. And if I was able to make enough that I could pay for childcare, that would just be silly to me because I would be paid to watch somebody else's kids while somebody else is watching my kids and I just didn't understand why that would, I just didn't think that was a great plan. So anyway, this has always kind of been a goal that we've worked towards and we're finally there and it feels amazing. We're by no means people who make so much money that we're like wealthy or anything like that. It's just we finally make enough to pay bills, have a little bit of extra and let me stay home with the girls, which is awesome. So Thursday was my first day, and I I have kind of done lighter days than I think I'm going to, but my day is structured, and I kind of set aside a plan as to how to tackle being a stay-at-home mom, which I will talk about in a Mommy Monday. Anyway, my weight is 190. 189.8, which hasn't changed, which is awesome because my eating has been pretty good, a little bit off, but I haven't worked out at all because everything got crazy. Um, Mommy Monday didn't happen because the girls had a visit um, down a bit south of us, and basically that takes up half of our day and the other half of the day. 
um, had karate and just a bunch of other stuff going on because of my last week of work. Weight Loss Wednesday didn't happen because that was my last day. Um, Foster Friday, I'll give you that update now. Um, Foster Friday, I'm actually writing a couple of adoption books, which I'm excited about. And who knows, maybe they'll get published. I have no idea. I'm, that's not like the main goal. The main goal is to make a few good adoption books that maybe I can hand out to some friends who have adopted or were in our adoption classes, that kind of thing, because there's just not enough literature for adoption. There's no literature for kids for fostering out there. So that's kind of a goal. Uh, Project stay-at-home mom cleaning. I'm now a stay-at-home mom, which I mentioned, which is awesome. Um, again, I'll talk about my day structure in a Mommy Monday. Maybe I'll be able to do a day in the life. Um, I am doing one more day with the kid that I nannied before. Um, so I'll try and do a day in the life then so that you guys could see what my day in the life of a nanny was. Um, finally getting my house clean. So um, my day as a nanny, basically I was gone between 12 and 14 hours depending on the day. And by the time you're gone 12 to 14 hours a day, you don't have time to keep your house not super clean, but clean enough that I would be comfortable having pretty much anybody over here. I mean, we would be able to do kind of a general pickup, but it was never clean like I wanted it to be. And I'm not one of those people who's wanting to live in a museum, but there's a difference between you have kids and or somebody lives here and holy shit, what happened? And I was very much bordering on that second, and I hated it. It was making me very anxious. It was making me very just, my insides were just, ugh, every time I walked in my house. And yesterday, for the first time, I put this on Facebook, but for the first time in months, since I was staying home with the girls on my leave, my house is open. I mean, we've had the doors open. We've had the windows open. It's been fantastic. It finally feels like my house is breathing again. It felt like the life was slowly getting sucked out of my house. And it was awful because we would never be home during the day to open a window or open the blinds. And weekends were spent catching up so that basically the house could get to be a disaster again through the week. And it feels like it's breathing again and it's getting clean and I'm so, so excited. Um, one other great thing about being a stay-at-home mom now is that obviously I have a lot of work to do with the girls and a lot of work to do with the house, but I'm building into our structure project time and I'm going to be able to get a few of my bigger projects done and I'm just super, super excited. But one of my new projects that just got added to my list is making a new room for Box. Because they are sleeping so much better in separate rooms. And we found that out in a random little thing I'll upload in another Foster Friday. I see that. Stay over there. I'm almost done. I see that hat. It's a tambourine hat. Where does the music stuff belong? Music stuff belongs in the playroom. Thank you. Um, so we randomly found out that they are sleeping a lot better in separate rooms. So we are now turning the guest bedroom into a bedroom, but we will be able to... So the plan is if we ever have anybody stay, um, I will set up the queen bed as the guest bed either in the playroom or one of the girls rooms and the girls will share a room while our guests are here. So anyway, that's kind of it. That's my big week <laughs> update. It's been a crazy week. I mean, between work ending, um, my husband had his kind of sort of first day at his new job. He doesn't officially start until September, but he had a meeting at his new job. 
but between that and my last days and visit and just um, Veggie is getting her a belt promotion in karate, which is awesome. So there's been that. It's just been nuts. So <laughs> hopefully I'll get back on track with everything as of next week. And I will also be making project videos on my major projects. And it sounds like I've got to go. So I'll talk. Okay, I'll be right there to help you out, okay? <laughs> I've got to go. I'll talk to you later. Bye.